Hello, my name is Adani Raphael with the Avai Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to configure port mirroring on the Avaya EIS 4000. Port mirroring is the process of sending an exact copy of network packets on one switch port to another switch port. Port mirroring is used to monitor network traffic for various reasons, such as to isolate fault on the system, to analyze and debug data packets, or for intrusion detection. We'll go through these steps to configure port mirroring on the ERS 4000. First, we log into the system with rewrite privilege using the RW user account and password. Then, we enter the privilege exec mode and the configuration mode using enable and conf t. To view all of the available port mirroring modes, we use the following command, port mirroring mode, followed by a question mark. Then we'll create and enable port mirroring using the command port mirroring, then specify the instance number, which can be from one through four, where one is the default, then mode followed by the format for one of the available modes such as mirroring the packets received on port X, or packets transmitted on port X, or both received and transmitted by port X. To verify or view port mirroring configuration, we'll use the command show port mirroring. And finally, we'll disable port mirroring with the command no port mirroring. Here, I log into the EIS 4000 with rewrite login privilege. At the command prompt, enter the privilege exec mode with command enable. Then enter the configuration mode with command conf t. To see all of the available modes for port mirroring, we use command port mirroring mode, followed by a question mark. Here are all of the available modes. Let's configure port mirroring using the mode XRX, which is mirror packets received on port X. Now we are configuring port mirroring, for instance, number two. In our example, we are using mode XRX to mirror packets received on port X. In this mode, we specify port 10 as monitor port and port 12 as mirror port X. At this point, we can connect a packet sniffer to port 10 to monitor all packets received on port 12. To verify port mirroring we just configured, we use command show port mirroring. Here in instance number two, the mode is XRX, port 10 is the monitor port, and port 12 is the mirror port X. Once you're done with monitoring, you can disable port mirroring configuration using command no port mirroring. Finally, to confirm that we have disabled port mirroring configuration, we use the command show port mirroring again. You can see here, our configuration has been deleted. As you can see from this video, port mirroring is a simple process to set up, but it is a very useful tool for fault isolation and troubleshooting. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.